So I'm going to twine onto this paper cup that has warps on it. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight warp ends on this cup using this white yarn as my weft. And my weft is going to travel around the warp. I want to start my first stitches on the warp end that is to the right of this seam. This is going to help me when I'm counting my rows. So find that seam on your cup and wrap your weft around the warp end that is to the right of that. Now I have two wefts sticking out, one on the right side, one on the left side. The one on the left under the one on the right into that space where it's this, the one on the right is coming out, around and out in the next space. Okay, So now that weft that was before is now on the right. They've traded places. So I'm going to repeat that. The one on the left goes under the one on the right, in, around, and out. Stop and pick up from the left side. Under, in, around, and out. I'm going to continue this process until I get all in my cup. Under, in, around, and out. Under, in, around, and out. Going back to the start. And here with that first stitch, I'm going to simply keep going. As I continue, I'm creating now the second row. And this will make it really easy to count your rows if you make sure you start on that seam. Because now we want to keep doing this until we have 10 rows. So there's my seam. I can see that there are two rows on the right side and one row on the left. So I want to keep going until I have 10 rows.